With the Streamlabs Smart Home Water Monitor, you get 24-7 peace of mind with real-time leak prevention. Now that you have installed the Streamlabs app and connected the monitor to Wi-Fi, locate the main water entry line in your basement, utility closet, garage, or crawl space. The main water entry line is typically near your water heater. Then locate the items needed to install, including the monitor, power supply, and zip ties. Make sure you have a cleaning cloth on hand. Your monitor installation site will need at least six inches of space to fit the device and should be located on the main water line, downstream of the main shutoff valve, PRV, and prior to any branches. Make sure that a wall outlet is accessible and that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection at the install location. Before installing, use a cloth to lightly clean the pipe, ensuring the installation site is clear of dirt and debris. Next, place the zip ties on each side of the install location, unless you are installing the product vertically. Go ahead and place the stem of the zip tie through the head while keeping it loose enough to tighten onto the monitor later. Now, remove the protective strip from the bottom of the monitor. Place the monitor in between the two zip ties and tighten them down on each side of the monitor evenly. Cut off any excess of the zip tie with your scissors if you prefer. Plug in the power supply to the nearest wall outlet and then into the monitor. The monitor will automatically reconnect to your Wi-Fi network as shown by the blue lights on the top of the device. The green light will be double flashing if the monitor is tight and installed properly on the pipe. If the green light is single blinking, this means the monitor cannot sense the pipe and either needs to be tighter, moved to a different location, or new pads installed on the bottom. Remember, do not rotate or twist the monitor when moving it as it could damage the pads. Should you need to move the monitor to a new location, just cut the zip ties and pull the monitor off the pipe. Be sure to check the bottom of the monitor to ensure there is no damage to the sensors. If the sensors appear damaged, remove the old sensors and replace it with the new sensor strip before installing in the new location. Assuming you are able to get the double green flash at your current location, Find the shutoff valve used to stop the water supply and turn the shutoff valve to the off position so that water is no longer flowing. Now, follow the app instructions to calibrate the monitor. This process senses the pipe type and sees what the pipe looks like with zero flow. Now you can monitor water usage and have peace of mind when leaving your house unattended.